Unleash your smile. Poop, poop, we have arrived. The distance from the entrance to the actual place where you register your car and your arrival is pretty long. Let's have a look at the surroundings. You really can't fault Center Parks on the outside. The grounds are kept really well and there is lots to see, lots of places to walk, um, lots to do for the kids. It's really beautiful. Uh, all dogs there has, have to be kept on, on a lead. They're not allowed inside any of the building unless they're assistant dogs. The train. If your accommodation is as far as ours was, uh, you, you're going to have to get the train unless you want to cycle or walk for quite a while. Um, but the view from the train uh, is quite beautiful. Um, our train ride was over half hour uh, to get to the accommodation um, and back. But like I said, the view really was worth it. Don't be afraid. The accommodation, which is your cabin. I actually forgot to film when we arrived and to film the bedrooms and that, uh, but this is um, our outside, our garden, and uh, a little bit of the living room. Um, there is a lovely kitchen where we you can cook and have your table there, and we had some decorations for Marty's birthday. But the best thing for us was the fire log. It was just so beautiful. The wildlife. If you're like me and you like all animals, you're gonna love the little fish pond, which is inside the plaza. Uh, squirrels, bonanza is lots and lots of squirrels, and they're super cute and they come to your garden as well. The ducks are also everywhere. We found some in the swimming pool too, which was very cute. And then eventually they worked out that to get out, they had to fly away. But these is two lovely ducks. Having a swim, I guess. But the best thing for me, the absolutely best thing was when a deer showed up into our garden and I managed to film it as he decided to leave eventually. But so beautiful. Some fun today. The activities. Gonna... While there are plenty of activities to do everywhere, we kind of stayed more at the plaza. We are very much into water, so we're more water people. And Gary and Molly use the um, aqua jet. So we hired for half hour, we, we uh, paid for an activity of half hour, and uh, they both used the aqua jet and they had fun with that in the swimming pool. It was in the morning and it was a bit cold, um, but it was still really good fun. The swimming pools. As I said, we're more water people, um, so we use the swimming pools a lot, basically all of the time we were there. Molly and Gary are also a bit more adventurous than I am, so they went on the rapids quite a lot of times, and this is one of the times they were there, and I was filming them from the outdoors swimming pool, so you can see them going a bit nuts in this bit. It can be a little bit dangerous in there, I'm told, so watch out for that. In those, there is the old tropical swimming paradise. It's baking hot inside, um, but it's lovely because then you can go into the pool. There is also, all the pools are really nice and warm. There are slides, there is a lazy river. There is um, a kind of like a bigger pool where they have waves every now and then. Uh, then there is another area where there are more dangerous slides where I would never go. Uh, there is an outdoor area where, where that I filmed earlier, so there is plenty of water activities for anyone that like us like water. However, be mindful because it does get busy and you might have to queue sometimes. The food. We were there for three nights, so we decided to eat out every day. We had a dinner at Las Iguanas, which is a lovely Mexican restaurant. We had breakfast at the Pancake House, and it was really, really lovely. And that was like a, a late breakfast slash lunch. It was really filling. Uh, we had dinner at Bella Italian. We were served by cats, waitress, computer waitress, whatever. And I had a lovely risotto with courgette and that. The last dinner was a Huck's American Diner, where they also sang happy birthday to Molly. 
The shops. Inside the plaza there are a variety of shops. Uh, a favorite of ours was definitely the Just Kids, where we found a selection of really fun toys and posters and that. Uh, you can see here a squeezy toy, which is really good fun. Blah, disgusting. Upstairs, it was also a lovely grown-up shop with stuff for dog lovers and gardeners and all sorts of things. Yes. Upstairs is also the shop treat that is known for sweets and chocolate and all sorts of things. What Center Parks like with a dog? Center Parks is very much family oriented, lots and lots to do for the kids. Uh, but they also welcome dogs. You can hire uh, cabins that allow dogs. There are only a certain number. Um, so if you don't book on time, you might not have a cabin that allow dogs. There is a lovely dog play area by the plaza and it's big and there is lots to do and to sniff there. However, dogs are only allowed on lead, on the lead around the park and they're not allowed in any of the buildings nor, nor are they allowed in the restaurants unless they are assistant dogs. If the weather is bad or if your accommodation is pretty far, the train will be your friend. However, if you don't have an assistant dog, you're not allowed to get on the train with the dog. Inside the plaza, there is a little shop, is like a coop, and they also sell some dog food. So if you've run out or you need poo bags and stuff, they got them. All there. in all, we had a fantastic time. Shame that our accommodation was really far. So next time I would definitely pay extra to have something closer. We didn't bring the dogs. They were with a trusted home boarder. Otherwise, it would have been a bit more challenging having to keep going back to the cabin for them uh, and also not being able to maybe do as much swimming as we wanted. The dogs I've seen there, a lot of them were quite stressed out. So if you do go there, with your dogs please be mindful of the fact that it's a different environment busy noisy um, so please be mindful of that and watch for their body language make sure that they are relaxed bring some pet remedy with you would be very helpful for the dog uh, and do as much scent work as possible also don't forget there. that when you come back home after your holiday both your children and your dog might need some time to decompress so a few days of quiet things a bit of scent work for your dog and a bit of chilling with the kids would be great. On, if you like this video, please subscribe for more.